Welcome to Archive City Online Classes. In this lecture, I am going to introduce financial statement analysis to you. I also explain you what are the different financial statement analysis tools which you need to use to understand the financial performance of a company. This analysis will help you to take wise investment decisions. Here are the five important uh, financial statement analysis tools. The first one is comparative financial statement analysis, which is also called as horizontal analysis. And horizontal analysis is of two types. One is year to year change. And uh, second one is trend analysis. So in case of year to year change, what we do is we'll try to find out the change in the values from different years. That is one year to another year. Let us say we have a three years, 2018, 19 and 2020. So in year to year change, what is that we do is we will find out the change between these two years that is 2018 and 19. Then we try to find out a change between 2019 and 20. So to calculate this change, we use all the items of a profit and loss account and uh, as well as the balance sheet items also, but uh, not every item, whichever items which uh, are key to understand. Let us say uh, we can use sales from operate, sorry, uh, revenue from operations and uh, we can also uh, perform uh, uh, horizontal analysis on total expenditure likewise whichever the uh, variables which are important so on all those we will calculate the horizontal analysis or a comparative financial statement analysis that is year to year change in case of a trend analysis what we do is we need to take one year as a base year let us say you have a 2017 and 18 19 and 2020 so all the values of 2017 that is 2017 is considered as a base period and then we compare base period values with the following years that is uh, what is the change or increase or decrease in the value of uh, a particular item from uh, 2017 to 2018 then we compare with the 2017 to 2019 then 2017 to 2020 so that you will get a trend. So this is about uh, horizontal analysis. Next one is your common sense financial statements, which is also called as a vertical, vertical analysis. So in case of a financial uh, common sense financial statement analysis, what is that we do is we relate each item in a profit and loss account or a statement of a profit and loss or a balance sheet to a whole. Let us say you have a, a net income or a, let us say net revenue and uh, net revenue is compared with various items like uh, revenue from operations then uh, other income then let us say you have uh, expenditure expenditure towards uh, uh, purchase of goods or a raw material so then uh, you may have uh, employee benefits or salaries paid to employees so these are all are compared with your revenue let us say your revenue is uh, 100 now revenue from operations maybe uh, we can say 70 and other income is a 30 so total this is uh, 100 this is a net uh, revenue then purchase of a goods you may spend uh, 45 on purchase of goods employee benefits 10 so in a common sense statement what we do is we analyze vertically in the sense we have for each item in a statement of a profit and loss account is compared with the net revenue or total uh, revenue this is with uh, related to the common sense financial statements then you have a ratio analysis. I'll come to the ratio analysis at the end. Then next is a cash flow statements. Oh, in cash flow statements, what is that we do is we analyze sources and uses of funds. Importantly, we look at uh, the uh, financing activities and investing activities. Then the final one is the valuation. So in case of a valuation, what is that uh, we do is in valuation, we use discounted cash flow methods uh, to value it and the valuation is done on a fixed income securities as well as common equity or uh, equity in the sense you will analyze the debt instruments and equity instruments using a discounted cash flow method so for this purpose we calculate uh, or we estimate uh, free cash flows from operations then we use certain discount rate which uh, we say that the k cost of a capital Using the discount rate, we calculate the present value of the firm. So using this value, 
will make a decision whether to invest into this uh, particular company or not. Now very important one which is uh, ratio analysis. So this course is uh, intended on ratio analysis among the financial statement analysis tools of the five this course I am focusing on ratio analysis. So the ratio analysis measures the relationship between uh, each and every item of uh, uh, balance sheet or uh, balance sheet profit and loss account similarly uh, your assets liabilities and all. So in this course we are covering total of uh, 23 uh, key financial performance indicators or let us say key performance indicators using annual reports of 46 real companies. So we are using annual reports of 46 real companies using that we explain 23 key performance indicators. These 23 key performance indicators are classified under five heads. One is the liquidity ratios, second one is the solvency ratio, third one is the turnover ratio and fourth one is the profitability and the final one is for the investor side. In a sense what are the factors that the investor look into while making an investment. So here in liquidity ratios our focus is on current ratio, then uh, quick ratio, cash ratio and working capital ratio. These are the four ratios which we are covering in liquidity ratios. When it comes to the solvency ratios, we are paying attention on three ratios. One is the uh, debt ratio which measures the relationship between total debt and uh, total assets. Then uh, debt equity ratio, then uh, long term assets versus long term debt ratio. In uh, Coming to the turnover ratios, in turnover ratios we are covering four important turnover ratios. One is the uh, sales to fixed assets ratio, inventory turnover ratio, receivables turnover ratio and payables turnover ratio. In addition to the calculating inventory turnover, receivables turnover and payables turnover, we also explain you how to calculate uh, inventory conversion period, inventory conversion period, then uh, average uh, receivables or average uh, collection period and then average payables or average payment period. So once you have these three values that is inventory collection period and uh, uh, inventory conversion period, average collection period, average uh, uh, payment period, you can also calculate the cash conversion cycle of the business. So this is another advantage of uh, calculating the turnover ratios. Now coming to the profitability ratios. In this course we are covering the profitability ratios of a uh, gross profit margin, EBITDA margin, operating income margin, net profit margin, total asset turnover ratio return on total assets and very importantly DuPont return on assets ratio. And finally uh, from the investors perspective we are covering five ratios. One is the return on investment using on uh, balance sheet uh, of a company and balance sheet as well as the uh, uh, income statement of a company. Then return on a total equity, return on uh, common equity, earnings per share and book value per share. So in all we are covering 23 uh, key performance uh, indicators. All these ratios are explained with the help of 46 uh, real companies annual statements. So in this course we explain you uh, how to calculate, analyze and interpret these 23 key performance indicators. Other uh, financial statement analysis like uh, comparative financial statement analysis, common sense financial statement analysis, we are covering that in a different course uh, using a, uh, Excel as a tool. In the sense instead of uh, calculating manually, we perform comparative financial statement analysis, common sense financial statement analysis using Microsoft Excel. And evaluations, already we covered the valuations and there is a one separate course on valuations which is available on our uh, website as well as on, on our YouTube channel. So thank you. Thank you for watching this lecture. Keep uh, uh, watching all the 23 key uh, performance indicators. There is the financial ratios and get well versed with uh, financial statement analysis. Uh, improve your career uh, prospects as well as get placements. In addition to that, these ratios will help you to make investment decisions. If you are investing uh, into stock markets on your own without relying on a broker call or without relying on uh, others, you can make a financial investment decisions on your own once you are well versed with these uh, 23 key performance indicators. Thank you very much.